Hello Tab Nation, it's Tom, and today we're doing a auto hotkey video both in version 1 code and version 2. Uh, the code will be linked in the description below. Um, a lot of this I'm not going to dive too deep in, this is more of a showcase video, uh, just because pretty much everything in here I've talked about in a video in the past, so if you really truly want to know more, uh, definitely look at those. Uh, there are a few things on here you can customize, and we're going to see it in action. So we're going to start, obviously, with version 1, because why not? It's version 1. It's first. And I honestly prefer version 1. You know, version 2 has its niceness, but I'm a GUI guy. I really like working with my GUIs, and I just, I don't know, I'm so used to the old way. The, the new way just is... It's got its benefits, but to me, it's a little bit more complicated, and you know that's not why I'm using auto hotkeys. I do like everything else though about version two, I will say, but I don't know. The gooey thing just kind of kills it for me. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I know everybody's kind of all over the place. I use both versions, but I know some people only use one version, never plan to upgrade, or they just upgrade it because they think, hey, it's the newest one, I have to use it. Or they're just used to that kind of syntax highlighting. Sorry for ranting on. Anywho, we're going to be using a GUI here uh, to shorten our URLs. You know, I use this a lot because, you know, with a YouTube channel, a website, I'm constantly on forums trying to help people learn. Uh, and some of the, especially when you're linking to like a form or YouTube videos, those URLs can be like pretty dang long. And uh, it's just easier to do this. Also, just uh, for... <laughs> If you are sharing a YouTube video, there are like groups out there like Facebook sometimes where if I share a link and it has YouTube in the URL, it automatically will like decline me allowing me to post. But some pages I have found that if I actually use a URL shortener, it won't realize that it's a YouTube video and it'll still let me post if I'm trying to help someone out with uh, linking to someone's video or like a page where someone's already discussed this topic. So just a quick hint there. So, um, you know, this I found, I tweaked it up a little bit uh, to meet my needs a little bit better and uh, just some stuff uh, touching here for the video. Uh, here is the uh, link, which will also be in the description below. And then we just got this from uh, Tea Drinker and he posted in back in 2020. So shout out to him. This is showcase showing uh, some of the stuff he did. Uh, it just was so well done. It was perfect for a showcase. Uh, but yeah, we got our GUI here. Like I said, I'm not going to break all this down. I've done plenty of GUI videos, so check those out. Um, you know, a lot of this you're really not going to be changing. The main thing you are going to be focusing on is right here in this function for uh, what's called button shortener. Uh, so he has two right here. He has, uh, for the API calls, uh, we're using Tiny. So that's tinyurl.com, as you see right here. And then you got this one for... Uh, is.gd so basically just two different ones there's obviously a whole bunch out there uh, you know if you like one better than the other you can definitely you know sit here and add more uh, just you know basically copy uh, this line right here go down paste it and then just change everything change this to you know, whatever the website is or whatever you want to call it and change the URL. Uh, make sure you leave the end blank where it says URL equals because that's where it's going to be inputting that data. Uh, but yeah, we don't need two of those, so we're going to get rid of that. Now, also, if you're doing this, as you see, API Tiny, uh, we're going to go up here and we are looking for right here, the URL, or sorry, the uh, radio button here. That way, which you'll see when I demo it. It's going to make sure you're clicking uh, this one using that URL, or if you click on the other radio button right here, is.gd, it's going to use that one instead. Um, so yeah, just make sure if you do add more uh, down here or change it to a different name, just make sure you match it up here so it's just more readable, readable for you and your users. Now after that, really, there's not a lot you're going to be messing with. Uh, all this code pretty much is straightforward. You know, it's doing the call putting the data to you, and uh, yeah, we'll see this in action. This will be a lot more easier to understand. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's uh, run version 1. I don't have a hotkey, so as you see, as soon as I click on it, it's going to auto-launch. Uh, you can add a hotkey to, you know, basically toggle to hide this and show it if you want. Uh, you know, I 
should have probably done that because that would be useful just to have this always running versus me constantly have to lo load it every time or having to take up, you know, space on my bar down there. So as you see, here's our radio buttons. We can choose which one we want. Uh, we enter our URL shortener, um, you know, to shorten, sorry. And uh, that is a code. So let's see if I can find a website here that might be useful. I'm in the zoo with the lions. Whoa. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't know my volume was on. Okay, give me one second here, everybody. Uh oh, what should I? Uh, cat memes. Let's see if we can find something that has a long URL. Usually pictures do. Yeah, why not? All right, that's a. Uh, yeah, 71 hilarious cat memes you will laugh at every time. Check that out later. Uh, so yeah, we're going to grab uh, this URL up here, um, just because, uh, you know, it's a decently long one. Um, so that will help us visualize here. Go back here. We're going to paste that in there. We're going to click the shorts and button using tiny URL as our uh, service. And it automatically updates the GUI with this. It's great. Shorter. You can double click, uh, push control C, or very conveniently, just push the copy button. So I did that. We're going to jump over here and push control V. There's our URL. It's already in our clipboard. Save it where we want. Wonderful. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, save this again. Uh, this one's having issues uh, double clicking just because of all the different types of special characters. Uh, yeah. There we go. Now we are going to head ahead, close that out. Um, with this one, when you push the X, it does automatically close just because uh, we have down here uh, GUI close exit app. If you want, you could have GUI close instead of exit app. You could build, uh, you know, like GUI destroy, which will just hide it, and then you can push whatever hotkey you have signed to bring it back. So that's all up to you. Now, version 2. Basically, it's going to look exactly the same, work exactly the same. It's just, you know, the big thing here is, you know, obviously the GUI looks very different here compared to version one huge difference yeah this is why i like version one GUIs honestly versus this this just takes it to a new level uh, like everything else though uh but yeah basically the same thing um you know you just got your urls uh down here uh everything's for the most part laid out like i said all this is not going to need to really be changed it's all in the description below if you are using both versions as you see here I don't have anything, but if you want, just to be safe, you can always put, uh, you know, requires auto hotkey version two and above. Obviously, you can change this if you have a very specific version, but as long as it's version two, whatever I have on my computer, go ahead, use it. I'm fine with that. Now we're going to go ahead and launch this one. Uh, like I said, no reason to really explain. Oh, no. Why do we have that here? So we got a little air there. That's fine. That happens. Uh, dock right. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Ah, because it's using that. Well, I'll have this uh, fixed in the description below. That air doesn't really matter because uh, I'll fix it. You guys don't need to know what that is, but it works exactly the same. Uh, so yeah, when it launches, uh, yeah. Looks the same. Works the same. Bada bing, bada boom. So, yeah, if you guys, like I said, have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you guys have a better version of this, uh, also if you have any URL uh, preferences for the shorteners, uh, let me know in the comments below which one do you like and why specifically. These are just the two that kind of popped up. I tend to use the tiny URL a lot. I like that one because uh, I can also see how many clicks it gets, uh, help me track data uh, based on you know, where it's coming from, that kind of thing. So yeah, I'll see you all on the next one.